You are turning in 10 minutes of BVTV News, brought to you by Bình Phước Television Station and Newspaper. And we're new with the latest news for today. Bình Phước boosts development of casual industry. Bình Phước promotes digital transformation in agriculture. President Võ Văn Thưởng attained King Charles III coronation. Vietnam's right experts search on supply crunch. The Minh Phước Provincial People's Council has held a ceremony to donate a charity house to a resident in Đoàn Kết Khamil, Bodang District. The house was presented to Mr. Mu Văn Hà, the head of the poor households in village 6 in Đoàn Kết Khamil, Bodang District. Built on an area of 90 square meters, the house cost 150 million Vietnam dong, with the Bình Phước General Services and Lottery Company donating 80 million Vietnam dong. At the handover ceremony, Mr. Ha's family also received many gifts from the Standing Committee and the People's Councils at the town, district and commune levels. Over the past three years, Bình Phước Province had effectively implemented Plan 235 issued in 2020 by the Provincial People's Committee on the Implementation of Resolution No. 11, dated April 15, 2020, from the Provincial Practice Committee on the Development of the Casual Industry in the 2020 to 2025 period, with a vision to 2030. Bình Phước has marked out its casual growing era for the 2020-2025 period and vision to 2030. It has completed a policy supporting casual replanting and promoting casual nut exports and deep processing. Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, Huynh Anh Minh, said that localities must stick to their assigned tasks in order to successfully implement Plan No. 235. The Department of Agriculture and Rural Development should promote intensive farming and renovate locality casual plantations and replant and plant new varieties with yields of 2.5 tons per hectare or more, while ensuring that at least 50% of the casual area is produced in accordance with certified processes. In addition, the department should provide consultancy on developing the Bingford Casual brand, help casual businesses build raw material errors and restructure processing enterprises with modern technology and quality products that are sufficiently competitive in the world market. The Department of Information and Communications, in cooperation with the Bình Phước Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, has held a seminar to promote digital transformation in the province agriculture and rural development sector. Digital transformation in agriculture and rural development has posted positive results in many fields over recent times including the renting and planting arrow codes for exports, providing support to create production and consumption chains, and applying science and technology in production. Many agricultural products have been granted three-star and four-star OCOP certificates, and support has been provided for farmers to sell agricultural products on e-commerce platforms. Bình Phước is striving to see 20% of farms and enterprises have five to seven products digitized by 2025. Camus, Words and townships, piloting digitization must have all OCOP products digitized. The workshop have the province agricultural sector make decisions and direct farmers, businesses, and cooperatives on promoting the application of science and technology and digital transformation in management, production, and business to bring the highest profit possible and create breakthroughs in the local agricultural sector. The People's Committee of Foreign Camille in Foreign District had held a ceremony to announce a decision recognizing Foreign Camille as having met the newly enhanced rural area standards. Foreign Camille has more than 4,200 households, including 389 ethnic minority households, and meets all 14 advanced new style rural development criteria. The locality has mobilized 87.5 billion Vietnam dong, with local people contributing 16.7 billion Vietnam dong, or 19.08%. In particular, it has three villages recognized as meeting standards for new style rural residential areas in 2021. Three of these five schools have been recognized by the Provincial People's Committee as meeting national standards. 98 of households have access to electricity, and 68.4% of roads have lighting. And your per capita income stands at nearly 80 million Vietnam dong. On the afternoon of May 6th Vietnam time, the coronation ceremony of King Charles III and Queen Camilla officially took place at Westminster Abbey in London. 
President Võ Văn Thưởng was one of 100 heads of state who attended the coronation ceremony at the invitation of the UK royal family. Britain's King Charles III has been crowned in a once-in-a-generation royal event that is being witnessed by hundreds of high-profile guests inside Westminster Abbey. The king took the coronation oath and became the first monarch to pray aloud at his coronation. Once the king was crowned, his wife, Queen Camilla, was crowned in her own. Earlier, President Vo Van Thuong met with King Charles III. President Thuong warmly congratulated the king, British royal family and people. He expressed his hope that the king and royal family will continue to actively support multifaceted cooperation between the two countries. King Charles III affirmed that the British royal family and the king personally always pay attention to and support the renovation and development of Vietnam as well as the Vietnam-UK strategic partnership. At a meeting with the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister said that the potential for cooperation between the two countries is very huge and wished to expand cooperation with Vietnam in various fields. State President Võ Văn Thưởng has separate meetings with Singaporean, British and Cuban leaders at parts of his trip to the UK to attain the coronation of King Charles III from May 4 to 6. State President Vo Van Thuong on May 5 had a meeting with Singaporean President Halima Yacob in London. The state leader said he highly appreciates the establishment of the digital and green economic partnership between Vietnam and Singapore, which aims to bring the cooperative relationship to a new and sustainable stage. The Singaporean president expressed her desire for the two countries to cooperate even more closely through successful platforms such as the Vietnam, Singapore industrial parks and in new areas of cooperation such as renewable energy, digital transformation, and carbon credit markets. Both sides emphasized the importance of building a united, self-reliant ASEAN community which plays a central role in the shaping of the regional structure. As part of his trip to the UK to attend the coronation of King Charles III from May 4 to 6, State President Vo Van Thuong met with the UK's House of Commons Speaker Sir Lindsay Hoyle, House of Commons Deputy Speaker Nigel Evans, Secretary of State for Foreign, Commonwealth, and Development Affairs James Cleverly, and Secretary of State for Defence Ben Wallace, among others British officials. During the meetings, the British officials shared their view on the significance of Thuong's visit, stressing Vietnam is a leading partner of the UK in the region. They agreed to further fully and effectively materializing the UK-Vietnam free trade agreement and bilateral cooperation mechanisms. Thuong suggested the UK help Vietnam in finance and technology towards fulfilling its commitments at the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference. The two sides also agreed to closely coordinate and support each other in multilateral frameworks. In a meeting with Vice President of Cuba Salvador Valdez Mesa, Thuong emphasized that the relationship between Vietnam and Cuba is exemplary in terms of purity, rarity, exemplar and loyalty. Mesa, for his part, said the bilateral political ties have been constantly consolidated and strengthened and expressed his belief that the relationship will grow further in the time ahead. Strong right export demand coupled with waning supply had caused prices to short in the market since the beginning of 2023. Vietnam exported 1.85 million tons of rice worth over 980 million US dollars in the first quarter of this year, up 23% in quantity and 34% in value year on year. The average export price in the reviewed period was estimated at $530 per ton, up 9% year-on-year, the highest in the past decade. It forecast a global shortfall at 8.7 million tons in 2022-2023, which is the highest since the deficit of 18.6 million recorded in 2003-2004. Experts say the forecasts predict a buoyant market, stressing favorable conditions for Vietnam's rice exports 
given the increasing demand for food reserves amid global economic and political uncertainties. Businesses are suggested to keep a close watch on the market, and fully assess opportunities and risks, in order to make successful transaction plans, sign suitable contracts and ensure export efficiency. And that's the end of BBTV News. Thank you for watching and see you next time.